Well, I'm with Michaela O'Donoghue, Gamesa Offshore Programme Director. Um, Michaela, um, obviously um, Gamesa hasn't produced as many uh, offshore turbines um, as, uh, as some of your, the competitors, but uh, you've, you've got your first one out at, at the moment. I mean, well, um, obviously, and that must be something you're promoting quite heavily at the moment. Yes, we're very proud at the moment because we are here actually showing the video of the installation of the 5 megawatt prototype in Arinaga in Gran Canary Islands in Spain. So we've hit a major milestone. It has already been erected. All the blades are up as of two or three weeks ago. Currently we have people in the turbine who are commissioning the turbine. We expect that to be done this summer and we would be achieving the type certificate in early 2014. So we're proud to be here showcasing that it's really happening. <laughs> what are the, uh, are the plans beyond the, the, you know, the testing in, in the Canary Islands? Um, what, what's, what is the next milestone for that, for that turbine? Well, obviously, we think that the major milestone has been the erection of the prototype. Uh, the next milestone would be the achieval of the type certificate, because without a type certificate, a turbine's not going to be installed offshore. Uh, that, is, that is a must. It's not a nice to have. So obviously, after that, the next milestone would be to start installing them offshore at sea. One, one question might be that, um, obviously, you're, you're working on a 7 megawatt turbine, and there are, there are sort of six and six megawatt turbines in the market and, um, and sort of Vestas have an eight megawatt one. It, the question might be, is, is a five megawatt turbine going to be enough in today's marketplace with round three coming up? Well, I think I would say right now a five megawatt turbine I'm not even sure we would say it's the mainstream offshore. There are not so many units of five megawatt turbines offshore that we could yet consider that it's uh, already a done deal. Mm -hmm. I think that the standard for now and probably in the coming years will be around a five megawatt uh, nominal capacity. And we do believe that there will be a residual market for those capacities as uh, the offshore market moves into the deeper waters, further offshore, when we'll start seeing the next generation, but I don't think they'll stop installing the five megawatt turbine at that point. Mm -hmm. So, um, looking ahead um, the, uh, to the next generation of, of turbines beyond sort of the five to six megawatt range, um, where do you see the, 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 the technological innovations sort of coming? Uh, is it just in terms of a larger turbine, or is it you know, installation onshore? Or it, more installation onshore and um, uh, and found, you know, deeper waters, that sort of thing. Okay, well you mentioned earlier our 7 megawatt platform, which I would allow myself to correct and mention that it's a 7, 8 megawatt uh, platform that we have progressed to a good point in terms of its uh, technological development and we're as everybody else in the sector and wait and see as to when we need to take it a little further. Um, we do believe when we talk about next generation that we need to look at higher nominal capacities. I think the entire sector is aware of that. Uh, but also I believe that the turbine will be the largest part of the game as we move further offshore and into deeper waters. But obviously the turbine is not the end game. And in that sense, yes, uh, the sector needs to be looking at innovation in terms of installation methods. The sector needs to be looking at innovation in terms of the substructures. Um, and we are looking forward to collaborating with the actors who are going to make that happen. One last question. It's, um, there's, obviously, there's two new platforms that are, that are coming up. Um, there's a 2.5 onshore mm -hmm. turbine from Gamesa, but there's also a, uh, there's the 5.5 onshore offshore turbine. Uh, how does how does this the five megawatt one that you're working on now f fit in with the with that with that model? Well, as I said, right now our star product is the five megawatt uh, with a 128 meter rotor. We do have a prototype that has been installed. We are commissioning it, and we will achieve the type certificate. So, as I said, nothing's going to be installed offshore without a type certificate. That's our product for the moment. Obviously, Gamesa is a very important player in onshore wind, and what we're going to be trying to do is leverage as much as possible commonality from the onshore platforms in order to go offshore. So as we see evolutions in our onshore wind turbine portfolio, we would take advantage of that to introduce incremental improvements on the offshore platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thanks very much.